Hey friends and fellow crafters, today I'm going to show you how to make a trophy plaque for someone, uh, like a friend or lover or whoever you want to make it for. Anyways, I made it for my Halloween game and if you haven't seen that, we all dressed up uh, for our Halloween session. So check it out if you haven't seen it. Okay, yes, so I made it for my Halloween game. Uh, really fun, easy to make, but very effective and the player really loved it. So. Let's hit the table and I'll show you how easy it was to make my plaque called the Golden Goblin Award. All right, crafters, I'm going to use these uh, forks here, these plastic forks. Cut the ends off there with a wire cutter and uh, move those aside. I've got these pearls for the eyes and I'm going to use model magic for my sculpt here. And I really like it because it's just a light clay, easy to work with, air dry. And uh, so it doesn't add a lot of weight to this to the uh, plaque like maybe like Sculpey would. Right. So I'm just going to kind of do a face shape here, get my mouth and eyes, and push those beads or push those beads in there for eyes. Kind of get the uh, shape it up with the hands there. And I'll just let you watch what I'm doing here. Just really easy clay to work with. Just all about defining and refining. Got the goblin schnoz there. Now I got my teeth. Push them in the gums you made. Really starting to come together. Did a scar across the one eye there. Pock marks. Now here I've got the ears. So I really want them pointy, poking out from the head. And remember, this is going to be against the plaque, so I want them kind of really sticking out. Put all the detail in the ears there. Just pop them on the side of the head. Some damage, damaged deer there. Some warts. And uh, here we go. We'll let this dry up and work on the rest. Now here I got a plaque at the uh, craft store, wooden plaque. These are really cheap to do. And I drilled a hole in the back there. You can see it coming through. It's uh, it's uh, slanted down so it'll be easy to hang it on the wall, right? I'm just using a medium brown on this, just a craft acrylic paint. Water down a bit. And then I'm going to drag some darker burnt umber across it. Give it kind of an old wood look while it's wet. Nice. Okay, here I've done the, uh, the plaque on the uh, computer and I'm just using some uh, lighter brown and some darker brown around the edge. Kind of make it look like old parchment. This will be the plaque for the award. I'm going to put some uh, detail in the corners where the I'm going to have some nails sticking into it like it's plaqued, like it's nailed to the wall. So that'll be fun. And we get some card stock here. And there's my dried uh, plaque. So I'll just put some white glue on the back. Spread it out. And apply it to the uh, card stock. Let it dry. All 
All right, just cut that out. Nice stiff backing. Cool. All right, now I'm gonna use a bit of black and uh, do a little bit of damage on the edges as well as where those nail holes are gonna come through. Okay, this is how it's gonna be set up and my goblin head is dry. I'm gonna glue the uh, plaque to the front here. I just use the head to kind of get an idea where to put the plaque. And just put that on there. Put some weights and let it dry. Okay, now I'm going to use these tack nails. I thought it'd be fun to kind of look, make it look like it's tacked into the surface, right? Like a scroll tacked to the, to the wood. So let's tack that in at an angle. Fun. All right, great. Really coming together. Now the goblin, I spray painted it flat black, and I'm going to use this uh, antique gold on it, right? And just a really nice uh, effect there. Okay, now if that's dry, I'm going to glue this on. I'm going to use my goop. I really love it for, uh, you know, non-porous surfaces. And let's put the goop all around the back there. Get a nice bond. And it's ready to go. Put that on there. And we'll let it dry. Nice. And uh, we'll do one last thing to this before we give it away. Now I'm going to use this uh, clear spray. And I'm going to spray the whole thing. And that will protect it and uh, give it a nice glossy sheen. So uh, that's it. We're all done.